much. A tangle of rope work blocks it. Not a pleasant way to die. Not a pleasant way to die, is it? Almost there. should be freed now.
These beams look fragile. Well, they hold. Would you rather climb? If it up to me, I wouldn't be here to begin with. Climbed higher or has the weather gotten colder? The nightmare is at work. She's likely using the weather in New Eden to further isolate its people. And once the curse is lifted, the snow will disappear. I think so. This place looks like the drawings on the map. Standing by. Wasn't your first, won't be your last. Aye, thank you. Now these remains call for a ritual and a lot of caution. Turn out and turn up! Another insight.
Did you feel that? It's close. You've excelled of late, and you haven't crowed about it once. And your dives, did you? Don't get cocky. There's always more to learn. Key thing about a scourge? A scourge is made of many spectres merged. Not always. A harvester, for example, is a scourge born of a single spectre. A scourge will always seek a new physical body, often made of different materials. Very poor. Perhaps you'd prefer an easier question? On the nature of a ghost, perhaps? Ghosts have ties. Objects through which they're bound to someone living. You are the opposite of Charles. Good at the practical, terrible at the academic. I hope it's enough. Over here. Oh, Fardy! Did you see that? Let's follow it. Watch out! Spectre possession! Up there. This could be a good thing to cross. A safe harbor, should we need a moment's peace. Please, 
Who oh, there? Wait. Why leave me like this? Down, boy. Here you are. Good day. My name is Rebecca Hardgrave. How may I help you? Are you the one who's attracting the wolves? Wolves? What wolves? Who are you exactly? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGraith. We're banishers. Do you know what that means? Banishers? That means... You can speak to the living on behalf of the dead. That's part of it, yes. Why, do you have someone in mind? Ferdinando Miller. My Fardy. Death parted us. But my love is strong. I came back for him. I love him so. Not once has he come to see me. I must know why. New Eden's a big place. Where can we find him? We were on our way to Fort Jericho. We were to open a store together. It was to be a new beginning for us both. Together. Yet he's there, alone. If you know where he is, why not just go there? I've tried. At first I was able to visit him. In the quiet, as he slept, I'd watch over him. But now... Something hinders me. I cannot reach him. I must know that he is well. We have to go now. Find him, please. This isn't over yet. Stay put. What are you thinking? It's more of a feeling. Something's wrong. Your senses are sharpening. She certainly didn't tell us everything. A peaceful place, in different times. Before the Nightmare's influence, you mean? Let's reach the fort and a fire and warm you up. Is it just me or...? I felt it too.
Trouble ahead. Spectres are attacking the fort. Living nor dead. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. I've business within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evidence, not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? My name's Andrew White. And you seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. Uh, listen, mate, folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either Priest or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Pennington knows me. He'll know I can help. I'm sure he does. But put one dead man down, and three come back next day. Round here, sweet victory fast turns bitter. Bottom line is, the captain is indisposed, and I'll not add your complications to the pile. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost. It looks out across the valley. If you could find her, make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. And favor, as they say, opens doors. Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out of whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. Right. I'll likely be back. Find our friends, Banisher. Or put them to rest. I'll try. As soon as I take care of the spectre's nest, I'll go looking for the outpost. Death knocks at their gates. No wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. Another attack may overrun them. The nest might be near. There's a trail to follow in the snow. Come. More coming. Come and get your breakfast, boys. The specters. The fort will run out of powder. These pests don't spring from nowhere. Reinforcements! You shouldn't stay in there. That's it. That's the place. Fill in the hole. Bury them all.
I should buy the fort a little time. Let's hope it's not too late for the famous Mrs. Priest. Looks like you're walking. Looks like. I wonder how many there are in the fort. Fewer by the day, I'll wager. Still, better to be inside than out. Never learn, do they? The mountain is awash with spectres. Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Something's nearby. Where is it? Help us, please! We have a survivor! Come! This one's not been dead long. Hmm. Let's hope he stays that way. You're done! Get back up! Get the hell out of there! by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let you live that one down, have you?
bolt is shot! Behind you! A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Seven years. Why come back now? It did not feel like seven years. Suddenly, I felt her pain calling to me. Divine intervention or otherwise, all that matters is that my dear Sebastian is back. Now, when I need him most. Andrew White sent us. He thought you might be in trouble. Plainly, you needed your guardian angel. We needed more than one. Thanks to you, we'll resupply the camp. Matthews and Williams did not die in vain. This was a risky expedition. Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. You're well capable of fighting the living, tis clear. It was reckless to think you could take on the dead. We have lost many of our comrades. We measured the risk. It was not reckless. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake. These men's deaths are on the captain's conscience, if he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. A second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. I'm afraid I locked us in when I broke the latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Lock looks broken. I doubt that gate will ever open again. Still impressive. Impressive? The banishers are quite simple. A banisher marched with my father's infantry. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. I take it that's how you met. 
I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. sympathy. This is locked from the other side. This for two miserable powder boxes. How low has Pennington brought us? If you didn't like him, why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. You may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's Nest. Well, that's a relief. Follow me.
Knight, open the gates. Priest, what are you lot waiting for? Open the gates. Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand, if you can. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. You'll find him there. Where are the others? Williams and the other chap? Matthews. May God have mercy on their souls. Captain Pennington. No time. No way out. No hope. No way in. No time. No time at all. Captain Pennington, sir. Mr. McRaith, you live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work, a mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope, to gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more hope and little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? You've saved no one. You've prolonged the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable. It is if you will not act. You're the officer. Take command. Surely you can't intend to do nothing. You sound like Priest. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. When our defences crumble at the last, the pit shall take us all. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. Folk have little enough hope, and you're leading them further into the darkness. I've heard the whispers, the murmurs, the plotting from the shadows. We hold to the last. We resist, till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you, and the time you bought us, the agony will be all the slower. Permission to take my leave, Captain. And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? If I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll bill it while you're here.
Captain Pennington. Ah, uh, you're still here. What do you want now? Permission to take my leave, Captain. Granted, Banisher. On the one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. Behind all the shit, there's something else. Something darker. Could be worse. Could be underground. Banishes. May I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps, by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Antea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy but the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Pennington the Jailer. Do you speak of Deborah? What did he do? I was away from New Eden Town at the time. Rumours said she was a witch, I later heard. And so too did the captain. The court agreed. Who knows what urges drove the captain then? He is a secretive man, and always has been. We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you.